work going over Chinook Pass here. Look how foggy it is. Can't hardly see nothing. It's crazy. Yeah, man, this is foggy. Going up over the mountain pass. Working in Natchez, Washington today. Cold up here, there's still snow. May 31st. Natchez is central or eastern Washington, but you see why western Washington is so much greener than eastern Washington. I'm coming up over Mount Rainier, and this is just the thickest fog you've ever seen in your life. The, the mountains catch all the clouds, so not much gets over to eastern Washington. So a totally different climate, eastern and western Washington. And uh, just coming over, over the mountain, and we're right in the middle of a big cloud. Really beautiful drive. Wow, this is beautiful. It's just an hour and a half away from my house. I've never been on this road. Just got to the other side of the mountains. I just had to pull over. It's so beautiful up here. I mean, this is just incredible. I can't believe I've never been here. I've always gone over a different path to get to the eastern Washington. All right, well, I made it. This is like a way up out in the middle of nowhere this is a camp like a ymca camp i'm here before the tree service i'm contract climbing for this tree they called me in for this one because they didn't want to climb it it's a big you know i don't really know what it is is it a fir i don't know what it is the trees are different over here it's dying it's in decline it's some sort of fir i think and you'll see pretty quickly why they want this taken care of look at that got a little bit of a little bit of decay in it <laughs> It looks like the woodpecker's just been going to town, so you know that tells you there's bugs in it. That's what I'm here for. You know, that's a concern, obviously. It's a really tall tree, even with a bucket truck or something. It's at least 120 feet. I think it's pretty solid. There's a lot of green brush up there. If it feels too soft, I'm not really afraid to just say, hey, it's too dangerous. But the fact that it's got a really lush canopy up there, that tells me that the, the bugs are probably a new tenants, you know, and the birds are just starting to get them. So trees definitely got to go. It's dangerous for sure. I think it's good enough to climb. We'll see. Whatever kind of woodpecker that is, man, it takes big old chunks of wood out of it. If I've showed this or not, I was complaining to Gordy about how I can't lock my chainsaws. So Gordy was like, we'll put a board here. And he put this piece of metal in there for me, extended my tailgate out. And now I run a bar through my handles so I can lock them all up. So now I can get the saws back here. So really clever, works awesome. And today we are running the Husqvarna 540 XP Mark III, brand new top handle chainsaw. Husqvarna sent this to me. So gonna be trying this thing out today. A 35 cc, roughly, somewhere in there. It's like the size of a 201. The saw's been out for a while. My first saw was actually the 338, the old version. So this has been out for a while now, but I haven't really ran this at all. I'll be climbing with this bad boy. It looks pretty nice. We'll see. Running the, a 14 inch Oregon Speed Cut Nano bar and chain. Available at my store, sappysupplies.com. It's got an interesting choke system. Prime it a bunch. And that slides out and down. Yeah, the tree's a bit rotten, but that's, you know, life of a contract climber, you know? Do you get called on the trees that <laughs> other people have too much sense to, to do? More thing before I start up this thing, you know, there is technically kind of room. You know, we might be able to fall it, but this one, it leans back and this right here tells me that the wood is compromised. But what if I start cutting into it? I start cutting into that side and this side's compromised. It just fails and goes backwards, so I think it's just better to climb it just to be safe. And again, if I get up there and it's just too soft and squishy and I get scared, then we might have to take the risk. We'll see. All right, crew shut up. This is awesome. They've got a bucket track, so be able to at least get the bottom portion of this tree with the bucket, and then I'm gonna have to climb out. It's kind of just for comfort, but it'll be nice to have a bucket for that rotten spot. Big R2 service. We said at Yakima. Yakima is about three hours from my house. It's about two hours from me, one hour from him. Way up in the mountains, way up in the mountains. No cell phone service or nothing out here. But this would be nice. I'm gonna go up as high as I can and then come back to my screws. Man, it is chilly this morning. Mark three, let's fire this baby up. <laughs> oh, I 
I forgot mine. They're on the deck right here. Yeah. If you could just toss them to me. If you go to the other side. Yeah. Let me trim my helmet on and then like that. Oh, you got the Cena? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. I never used one like this before. Is it pretty easy to figure out? I've always had the, the joystick, not the levers. I was thinking about doing that to this. You probably get used to it, right? You're I already got really, used yeah. to it because I was used. Yeah. I was used to that. This first one is push it down. And it's gonna raise. It. Okay. Go. Probably this one's the second one. But that one's gonna move. Like this oh. one's right. So this one's probably my upper boom. Yeah, upper boom. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got it now. Okay. They're all a little different. <laughs> Uh, this bucket's really stout, like it doesn't jiggle that much. but it's the first tank they usually break in it seems to be doing okay but i don't know we'll see we'll see how it does in the wood it's doing pretty good so far it's just the throttle response is a little slow <laughs> above where the bucket stops. Weird. <laughs> it's horrible down here. again <laughs> I feel 
better. <laughs> that <too. laughs> this is funny. Uh, you can go ahead and take the bucket away, please. It's funny how just not looking at those holes makes me feel better, <laughs> even though they're still there. Yeah, like this one sounds pretty stout. The nice thing is they didn't, they waited kind of too long. They let the woodpeckers go at it for a while, but they didn't wait too long because another couple of years and we wouldn't be able to even do this, you know? We have to get a crane and it'd be crazy. So it's a good thing they got it taken care of and they did. sometimes just let him hang and then pick him apart. single line is really nice. I didn't realize this tree was going to be so sappy. I probably would have used my rope runner, but I brought my akimbo just because it was already on my rope. But the akimbo was really bad with that.
Ooh, this thing's moving a little bit. I spiked one of those uh, zit things on here and got a big glob of sap in my eyeball. It like shot up from my boot. I think they're so heavy because they're full of sap. They're really heavy because they're so heavy. to the top. I'm about to take a top here soon. Unfortunately, the wind is starting to blow right at me. If, if it wasn't breezy, I could probably top it here, but the wind is blowing right kind of in my face. So I'm going to go up so I can just make sure that I can push this thing over. See, it's windy up there. It's not, not the best feeling knowing that there's all that uh, decay in the bottom, but solid up here. Dig it. These things are gooey. This is the same kind of tree I did with Mitch the other day. White fir, also called piss fir. Just, they do that all over. Anton says Christmas at the top, Christmas at the bottom. They stink when you cut them. It smells great up here. But anyways, I'm just about to top this thing. But I gotta go higher. I gotta make sure I can push it over. Look how tall, I thought I'd have a good view because this is a really tall tree, but look, all the trees in here. This isn't even one of the tallest trees in here. These are all really tall. Beautiful out here. No good man what is, this is like no I'm, I'm almost there I just and I'm being mindful of it but it's like somebody that didn't have a lot of experience could really hurt themselves well if you're new to climbing you'd get scared too and then you'd like probably throw it or something you know like I'm really calm because I've been doing it so long but if I was a new guy I'd be like terrified of that you know man Beautiful up here. Yeah, Raul down there was just asking me, he's like, do you get the adrenaline rush still? And I'm like, oh, absolutely. Every time I do that, it's, it never gets old. It's so cool. And then, yeah, it's like a relief when it's over. 
because now all the weight's out of the tree. It's not like, you can't see the breeze, but I can feel it. And once the top is out, the tree really doesn't move in the wind. So it's just a relief when it's over, but man, it sure is a rush. This is just gorgeous out here. The brittle. Yeah, I guess it's hitting <laughs> pretty hard ground. How old are you? Oh, same as me. I, uh, my birthday was yesterday. I turned 31. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You got like a little portable shop here. Yeah, pretty much. Try paint. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's awesome. The whole shop in here. Yeah. Oh man. I couldn't even move this. I had to spray some gas on it. Oh. I spraying the gas off. It was like frozen. Oh yeah, I can tell. Man. 
I know, it's got me thinking. Okay, I'm sure I could do this with my Husky 42 inch bar, but I just don't really ever get to use a saw, so I'm gonna use my 880 50 inch Canon Super Bar. It's only the second time I've used this. I really didn't need it, I just got it because it was a good deal. Madsen's on consignment. Ugh. Biggest saw still makes, 120 cc's. Works good. It's actually really nice just being on both sides. Thanks. Awesome. It's nice having the long bar just get all the way through and just you yeah, know what I mean. No You're not like going to both sides. Yeah, I have to jump to both sides. I'm happy with that stump. Nice even strip too. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice having this long bar and just not having to cut from both sides. It's just easy to get a nice even strip that way. That worked awesome. Man, I'm actually surprised how solid it is. Yeah, that's you know? what I, that's what I was. I like, wasn't expecting that. Cause look oh. how punky it is here. Oh, you can see the termites in there, right here. They're coming out. They're right, they're oh wow! Look at those big boys. So they were uh, inside when I was climbing up there. Now they're coming out. I saw a few. That's you why woke the, them that's up. Why yeah. the woodpecker was <laughs> like, "What the heck?" Away. You Wait. guys have been evicted. Down out. Yeah. They didn't pay the rent. Yeah. It's funny how them, them woodpeckers can hear them crawling and eating down in there, and they'll start. Crazy. They sit there and start cock, cocking their head. And, I can't believe how deep their beaks get in there. I mean, look at well, we had a big one, bird. We had to replace a, a, a four by eight yeah. piece of sheeting on the side of this guy's house because woodpeckers had gotten in there. Really? The bedroom was right there, and the, their headboard was right there, and his oh, wife was just freaking out because she hears something crawling in the, in, the, in the wall. I mean, that's like that's like a whole hand. Oh, I better not stick my hand in there too far. Ooh. So we got thermite. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> did. That's something we did crawling a, on me. We did a, like you said, man, that's about four to six inches deep yeah. in there. Yeah, it's just crazy that their beaks are that long. Man, it smells good up top, but horrible down here.
did awesome today. 462, I've been running this saw for like five years. I've just had no problems with it. I like the 25 inch bar, it's nice for climbing. This saw, it got better. The first tank was kind of doggish. It's better than the second tank. I think it just needs to get broken in. It really was powering through the wood when I was chunking. I noticed it had really great power when it came to chunking. I really did not like how it grabbed my glove in this little slot right here. But it also didn't help that it's, my gloves are extremely sticky and sappy, but that's never happened to me with any other saw. That was kind of freaky. I think if I was a newer climber, that would have really freaked me out. So I didn't like that. I mean, it's a little awkward because Husky just gave me the saw, you know? I don't want to like bash the thing, but I want to be honest. I don't think it would be genuine if I didn't show that, you know, my fingers sticking in there because that was kind of sketchy. But other than that, I mean, it seems like a good saw. Like I said, I really noticed when I got into the wood, it really started to shine. I think it just needs to break in a little more. All these new saws, they seem to be that way. I feel like the chainsaw, you run about five tanks of gas through it and it really, they really wake up. I really think there's something to that whole breaking in thing. But I got the job done. It did pretty good. It was definitely, it's very ergonomic. It's very easy to hold. It's really just the, wah, a little doggish on the throttle response, which I think will change, but the, the, the trigger was definitely a concerning factor. I didn't like the trigger sticking. But other than that, trees down, it went pretty good. This uh, big R's tree service, Raul over here, he's been in business two years. He's the same age as me, he's 31. And, you know, been in business two years. He's already got chip truck, chipper. He's got this portable shop. <laughs> he's got his truck, he's got his bucket truck. Really cool, he must be a um, really hard worker. I mean, that's just evident. So, but <laughs> this thing is awesome though. He's got everything in here. Damn, look at that big old fur. Huge trees in here. Man, it's just beautiful here. Man. And it's gorgeous. The more I travel, the more I love Washington State. Except for the winters. <laughs> so three years ago, you were just uh, like a climber at a company, huh? Yeah, a climber. And climber making like 23 an hour or something It, it like that. sucked. Yeah. You know. And now look at you. For the for what I had, man, I, yeah. I got covered up in white hairs. It's a lot of stress. Yeah. Even doing this, it's a lot of responsibility. You know, you got a yeah, lot trying of, to break everything. You know, you got yeah. a lot of stress. I love contract climbing since I started. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's fun. You know, I I, I love doing it. You know. Yeah. Well, but, that's you why know, you're doing so well. Yeah. You know, a lot of people just think, oh, well, you go and cut the tree. Oh, no, there's a lot it's, to it. It's it's a lot to it. Like felling that big chunk. You know, you gotta be right on the money. Man. Yeah, that's years and years of You know, it's not practice. like just, oh, he just put a face on it and boom, fell no. It, yeah, it looks easy until you try it yourself and you're like, oh, damn, how it do you? Took me, it took me a while doing smaller cuts like this, maybe half size. Yeah. Doing that humble. Yeah. 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 But man, that's badass because it hit the face hits first and then the butt yeah so yeah that one and the, the face one. cut falls out yeah. on its own so that's why nice. that's the one i do now but it took me it took me while. a long time too because i i always did it the the top cut yeah. until i started working with jed and he did the humble and i was like well he's better than i am i'm just gonna start doing it like he does <laughs> so now i do it like that yeah, it's it actually easier for me now than the other way actually you're right because now i don't even bring up the other one like yeah even yeah when i'm bucking i'm like you know, you're so used to trying to do that little bottom. Yeah, little and it just like falls yeah. out and it's just nice. It's some practice. The one I saw is the one where he did. The Siswell one? Yeah. Where it like twists sideways. Yeah, yeah. That was dope. I haven't got to that point and I don't think <laughs> I gotta be. That one's face. really hard to pull off. Yeah. I, I've tried it a bunch of times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that one was perfect, the one he yeah, did. Yeah, I know. I was like, I was it's trying like, to. Totally perfect. I saw it and I was like, shoot, man, I'll try that. Maybe, who knows? Yeah, when you got more room. More room, so, and yeah. more, I'm not going to damage anything. Yeah. You know, but. That guy was just so good. No, yeah, in Jed. the knowledge you had. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I paid a, a lot of attention yeah. to when you were doing videos with him. Yeah. I learned a ton from Jed. Yeah, I never did the Humboldt until I started working with Jed, and I was like... Well, it's, there, com it's a complicated... You you gotta meet your ends. Yeah, and your you saw know. has to be sharp. You can't do it if your saw's dull. You know, you can kind of like force yeah. the other one <laughs> if your but saw's no. dull, but not the Humboldt. Probably a really nice contract, because they'll have other trees and stuff here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Something that for in the future, you know. It'll... I'm sure they'll have more. You know, I mean, they got a lot of trees. They, they do. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me out, man. Yeah, no. It was a pleasure. No, it was. Yeah. I was like, I got it. Was a lot it. of fun. No, it was fun. You know, I was kind of excited. <laughs> you know. Yeah, this like, ended up being a really fun, fun day. Fun short day. Yeah, 
yeah, it's nice. All right, folks. Well, we're done here. This was a cool project. That was a cool company. I was really impressed with Raul and his crew. I mean, actually, he, he uh, messaged me, I don't know, six months ago or something. He was like, what do you think about this bucket truck I'm thinking about buying? And he sent me the link to it. And I was like, oh, it looks like a nice truck. Looks like a good price. And then uh, I didn't realize it was the same guy I was working for today. So just kind of a, a small world. So I had to actually talk to him like six months ago or something. But yeah, it just seems like he's kind of got it together, you know? So he was working at a tree service. He was a climber. And then, uh, you know, felt like he wasn't being appreciated. wasn't getting the value that he thought he deserved. And uh, so he left and he started his own company. And now he's doing really well, you know? The thing is, like, you got a good climber who's a competent guy with a good head on his shoulders. You got to really fight to, to keep him because I think they just go start their own companies. You know, you, you really see that a lot. So, anyways, this is a good day. It's a beautiful area. And I had a great day. It's not even that late. It's only, it's only 12.30. So, paid me for a full day and paid me well. And uh, now I just get to go home. So, so please like and subscribe. If you ever need Arborist gear, please check out my store, sappysupplies.com. I try to sell all the gear an Arborist could ever dream of <laughs> on that site. So just a good day. I'm just grateful for you guys for watching. I'm grateful for this job that I've got. It's just a, a ton of fun. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later.